my lovely ravens, my name is Chantel and welcome back to another video. It is the first Saturday of the month, yes I'm switching it from Friday to Saturday and today I'm creating the 16th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama for you. If you would like to catch up on all the other ones I will leave a link in the iCard section. So let's see what the 16th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama will be. By the way if you're interested in any of the props on my table Danny from Wizardry Workshop has these available on his website. I will leave all the details down below. Here is all the little scrolls. Shake them up. Pick one. Oops. Let's see what we get. It is at the Slytherin Common Room. Let's get started. As always, I'm starting this project with a matchbox I created myself with the help of a template maker. I will leave the link and the dimensions I use for my matchboxes in the description box below. I'm cutting away most of the background for this diorama and leave two little parts on both sides because I'm going to add a domed back. This diorama is actually the same shape as the Transfiguration Classroom, which was Matchbox 15. Same setup and same cutouts basically, but every Matchbox that I make, I make from scratch and this is no exception. So I just start with the basic Matchbox and do not look at any of the previous Matchboxes. The domed wall will be placed inside the diorama like this. Of course we need some windows in the Slytherin common room and I have sketched out what I'm going to cut out and here you see the cutout pieces and this is the frames that I'm going to put around the windows at the, the base and the top as well and I cut that out off camera because it's so so tiny and basically my nose was on the paper and here's all the cutout frames. As you see me do with the previous matchboxes, I'm gluing the window frames on some acetate. For this particular matchbox, it is especially important because I'm going to add some glass paint to the windows because they need to be green. As seen in the movie, the top windows have some kind of grate behind them, like a sewer kind of grate because the Slytherin common room is underneath the Black Lake. So I am adding that with a permanent marker. And this is the glass paint I was talking about. It took many, 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 many layers before I got the result I wanted. And now it is time to glue together the matchbox and then put that wall in. For the top and the base of the domed wall, I am lining it up with a piece of cardstock, trace around it, cut it out and glue it to the top and the base. Then it's time to paint. So I'll tell you a little bit about what I found about the Slytherin common room. 
The Slytherin common room was a long, low underground room with rough stone walls and ceiling from which round, greenish limbs were hanging on chains. We will get to that in a little bit. A fire was crackling under an elaborately carved mantelpiece ahead of them, and several Slytherins were silhouetted around it in carved chairs. This is a snippet from the book on the description of the Slytherin common room. And of course, there is a slight change in the movie. The diorama that I'm making today is kind of a mix between both. And the Harry Potter wiki fandom page describes the common room as follows. The common room is a dungeon-like room with greenish lamps and chairs. This dungeon extends partway under the lake, giving the light in the room a green tinge. The common room has lots of low-backed black and dark green button tufted leather sofas, skulls, and dark wood cupboards. One of the wooden tables has a wizard's chest set on it. It is decorated with tapestries featuring the adventures of famous medieval Slytherins. It has quite a grand atmosphere, but also quite a cold one. Let's get back to what I'm creating for a moment. I'm painting all the window frames grey, but they will be silver in the end. Also, you can see here what it looks like with the green windows fully tinted and ready to be put on the diorama. But before I do that, I'm going to make those frames silver with this marker. This marker is fantastic for all these tiny, tiny silver details. And then of course gluing these windows in now the windows with the especially the green window in that's in the middle i was struggling so much not on the inside of this diorama but the ones that are going on the outside with the green windows in them that's this one i was going to put it on with the wood glue that i was using for the ones on the inside as well did not work even with super glue i was struggling I got there in the end, but this is where I'm wiping that wood glue off and apply the super glue because that wood glue wasn't just not doing it. And then applying it to the, uh, you can't see the struggle there, but it took a few goes to get that stuck on. I got there in the end. Now you can see all the glue that has seeped out from the sides of the windows. That is shiny i am going over all those areas again as you can see me do here with the dark gray paint just to fix that up because the paint is matte and you can see all that glue and uh, it won't be visible in the end anymore and then to give these windows just that little bit extra like it's leaded glass i'm going over with this glossy accent stuff i will leave a link in the description box below um, what product this is and uh, where you can get it because it's probably available on amazon but just to give it that leaded glass look and then and this is something that is going on the interior which is a floor rug and this material i'm going to use for the wall tapestries Now, this is interesting. I wanted to use this technique for a while. What I'm doing here is applying super glue to this chain, which makes it stiff. So you basically glue all the little links together. And then I'm going to cut it to make those hanging lamps that hang from the ceiling. And I should have done this with, I think it was Matchbox 4, where I made the Charms classroom, where there's also a chain hanging from the ceiling. It's just flopping everywhere. It just should be secured with super glue. And this is me cutting out the parts for the furniture. I'm just cutting off parts of the sides here as well because I'm going to send it down with a nail file just to have that rounded edge on the furniture pieces. I'm gluing the parts together with wood glue. I am using wood glue over PVA glue because I think this is just a little bit more of a stronger bond. But regular PVA glue would just work fine as well. I 
and I've glued some beads on the top as the armrests and the little feet are made from parts of a diamond painting. I've also made some chairs to go with the chess table. Before I'm going to glue in the hanging lamps that will hang from the ceiling, I'm going to paint the chain black and then silver. The black I'm using is a black alcohol ink. I just find that it adheres very well to metal. And then I'm just gonna dry brush some acrylic silver paint on top. I thought it would be fun to put a little plant in this common room, but I'm going to make my own. So with this foam moss, I'm going to mix that together with wood glue and then going to attach it to a bead. As I was making this thing, I was gonna just stick it on top of the bead, but then I thought, why don't I just put this toothpick inside, cut it off, and then apply the moss mixed with the wood glue to the toothpick, and that worked. Next is the painting of the furniture. So I'm going to use these miniature paints that I like to use for these matchboxes. These paints are self-leveling and that is why I like to use them and you don't need a lot. And the coverage is just amazing. So I'm painting the couches green like it was described on the Potter Wiki website. And then these chairs are going to be black. Here I am creating the bookcases that will sit in the very back of the diorama next to the windows. cutting all the bookshelves and then sticking them in with wood glue. Just another little fun fact about the Slytherin common room. The password to the common room changes every fortnight and it is posted on the notice board. Slytherin students are warned never to bring students from other houses into the common room or to reveal the password. Supposedly, no outsider had entered the common room for more than seven centuries until Harry and Ron entered Slytherin common room in 1992. I was so absorbed in my project that I forgot to film how I made this. This is the fireplace. So this is the top of the mantelpiece and it is basically a slanted piece of cardboard with like the little rivets on the side and the crest at the front of the fireplace it's not as impressive as in the other common rooms but i think it does the job i'm gluing that on top of another piece of cardboard so i don't have the tapestry sitting at the back of the fireplace that would not be a good thing and then painting the whole thing black Whilst the fireplace is drying, I'm going to add the tufted buttons, buttons for the tufting to the chairs and the couches. I want those armrests to stand out a little bit more, so I'm painting them black. This is the little table for the chess board. So what I'm going to do is paint the chess board on top of that little table. This is the table that will be sitting in between the couches, by the way, which is just a brown. And this same brown is used for the cabinets, the bookcases that will be sitting at the back. Back to the fireplace, which is now dry. The crest I'm going to paint a green, as you can see here. And then around the crest, I'm going to add the silver with the same silver pen as I used before. And back to the chest table to paint all those little squares on top. Thank you. 
Once the green crest is dry, I can add the snake to it. And all the wooden furniture gets a little layer of lacquer, so it looks like polished wood. Of course, we cannot forget to add books to the bookcases, because it's a bookcase after all. Just adding tiny little pieces of cardstock or cardboard. I think I used cardboard, thicker cardboard, to get the thickness of the books. Then painting them in various colors with acrylic paint. And then the books are done. Now it's time to assemble the diorama and put all the pieces into place. So I have a question for you. We are at Matchbox 16 now and there are still so many more to come. And don't worry, I will keep going with them. But what I want to know is which Harry Potter themed Matchbox that is still to come? are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments down below. Now let's have a look what the final Slytherin common room looks like. And this is it for the 16th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama. I think I have a new favorite. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. If you would like to support me, you can do so by signing up for my Patreon. You can find the link in the end card of this video or in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!